Today I'm going to teach you how to make an isolated color photo. Now this is just a photo where, as it sounds, you've isolated a color or a couple colors in the photo in one particular area. Then the rest of the photo is desaturated so it becomes black and white. Now you can do this for a couple different reasons. Sometimes you just want to draw more attention to the natural colors that may not pop as much when they're next to the regular colors in a photo and that can be an interesting way of kind of drawing out more color in certain areas. Other times you have a very busy photo and your um, other elements in the photo are detracting from where you would like your focal point to be. So if you take out all of the color from those areas and put the color into your focal point, then that will direct the viewer's eyes where you want them to go. So let's learn how to do this. We're going to start out just by opening up our photo into Photoshop. So there we are. And we're going to unlock it. So I'm going to double click here. Uh, you just double click on the layer and then la name it something new. Layer 0 is fine and that's all it takes to unlock it. Once you've done that, you're going to duplicate the layer. So we can do this in a couple ways. We can right click and select duplicate layer. Or you can hold down the Alt Option key and click and drag. And there you have two layers. Now we're just going to go into our quick selection tool. And I'm going to be selecting um, in the layer that is on top. So I'm going to go in here, click inside the part that I would like to select. Um, the quick selection tool, if you over select anything, you can hit the Option key. And your selection tool will actually turn into a D selection tool, so it'll start deselecting. If you have just really messed up and you've overshot and selected too much, you can hit a command D and that will deselect everything and then you can restart. So here we have this selected fairly well and I'm going to add a mask. Now the mask is in your layers panel over here. It's at the very bottom in these icons. It is the rectangle with the little circle in the center. So if I click that, you can see that now a mask has been added to my top image. Um, you can see there's a little link here. I can unlink that and move the mask around, but I want to go ahead and keep that linked. After I've done this, I'm going to click down on the bottom layer, and then I'm going to go to Image, Adjustments, Desaturate. Notice that's also Shift-Command-U. So there you go. Now, once you've done this, what you may notice is that you may see that you might not have gotten it as perfectly selected as you would have wanted. So if that's the case, you can go back into your mask here and you can start painting out the mask. Now you want to make sure that you're actually selected in the black and white thumbnail here and not in the image thumbnail. So here I am selected in black and white in the mask. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. I'm going to select my brush tool, just my regular old brush tool, and then I'm going to work in black and white. Black will hide whatever I would like to hide, and then white will show. So here I've got a little bit of the brown of the door. If I paint some black over that, you can see that that's going to hide. Oh, I don't want to do that. Uh, that is going to hide that brown. So this could take a little while, but just kind of go through, make sure that you're getting any of those little bits of color out where you don't want them so that the color that is left really highlights the area that you're looking to highlight. And that's pretty much it. It's a very simple process and you get a lot of bang for your buck. It ends up looking really impactful once it's done. So uh, give this a shot. Good luck and have a good time.